All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, glory, and honor this due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahak, Wadash, double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who are well. Peace and blessings to the 144,000 and the hopeful elect, Shalom, Barakatham. I'm going to speak on the uh, topic of, uh, of our women, why you're not being chose. Uh, and the inspiration comes from a TikTok video going around. And Dr. Umar has had a lot to say about these uh, so-called white women or Edomite women choosing these NFL players. These, uh, you know, because we had a draft this past week, and uh, you know, a common theme is, you know, our people, our men. All right, they uh, they have a preference. All right, to deal with the uh, the other race, the other races in general. All right, now. There's a big controversy about it. And, and, and generally speaking, in a perfect world, in a righteous society, right, you should be dealing with your own people, okay? There was a, uh, there was the matter when Nehemiah, all right, the prophet Nehemiah had to oversee the, the returning of the Israelites into the land, all right, during uh, the Persian captivity where the temple was going to be rebuilt. And Jake was... was was marrying other women, all right? Um, and there's a difference between, you know, a wife and a concubine. You have to get that understanding in the Bible. When you marry, not every woman you marry is your wife, okay? There, a wife is a position of status in the man's household, okay? And that's what Jake was doing. He was putting heathen women, Moabite, Ammonite women over Israelite women, okay? In terms of marriage. Now, marriage means you're, you're bonded. You're supposed to pass down inheritances, and deal with that woman accordingly, okay? And uh, that came with a lot of uh, idolatrous behavior. That's how King Solomon went off, okay? But all things being considered, you know, Jake, you should be trying to uh, deal with your people of your own race. But what what has happened, okay? We're basically in a in a wartime state. These women, the way that they're behaving, they behave as they would. And numbers 31 as if the, the the military was just conquered okay and the women didn't have their husbands all their husbands died and they get into that panic of state to find the biggest baddest man you know so they can be safe all right that that would happen a lot of times when these warring tribes would come in and take a woman it, it'll put it puts women in a certain spirit and that's what open dating culture basically is okay when you have this open dating market, it puts women in, in kind of a fight or flight response where they make very poor decisions. Okay, they'll just go by for height, you know, things of that nature. That That's not natural, that's not normal, okay? You're, you're a real society, your fathers and families would, would have the, the majority of the say-so of who will be marrying who, okay? But, you know, it's, it's all gone down under this rule and now Esau has, um, you know, everything set up to where it's every man for himself. Okay, and, and to be honest, our women are just entitled, man. They, don't, they have no respect, by and large. Not every single one, but by and large. So this is what you see a lot of times. Um, real quick precept. I don't want to go too long without bringing one out. Pro Proverbs 14 and 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. All right, and and everybody can see this. This is a meme now. Esau, you know, in these back chats and 4chan and certain spaces on Twitter, they clown the Israelite man and woman, man. They, we're known for not having fathers in the household. Why? Because these are decisions that Esau gave and empowered, empowered our women to do. Okay, and so what, what's happened? She's basically destroyed the household. She'll sleep with a man without requiring any kind of commitment from him, without knowing anything of his background, his family, his, his, his ambitions, okay? Because more than likely, she herself didn't even have a father. So the, the, this is all black culture, okay? That's what y'all have to understand. This is all part of black culture, and black culture is not our culture. We're not black. That's a name that was put on us, and it's, it's, it's curated to, to paint us as these weirdo caricatures back in the day it's we were savages and animals okay 
then it kind of toned down to to, to uh, uh, black men and women are are, are, are hyper masculine and angry. All right, but they 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 won't point to the agitating factor. You know, they'll just shine a camera at the right time and moment to, to paint us that way, man. All right, and now it's infiltrated into the into the media, the music. So this is what you have, and so. That boils it all the way down to today, to the modern day so-called black woman. And it's just unbearable by and large for the most time, man. When you when Jake comes up and gets some money, he's not thinking of, he, you You thinking in the mindset of a king. I don't want to have to worry about being embarrassed, having, you know, have, having things, you know, brought up to me about something you said, you did. You really can't control a woman in this society, okay? And so why does Jake, or so-called uh, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, when they get that that bag, they pivot, they go over. It's not because the white woman is so much better, but she, her mind has not been destroyed. She's not she's not better than you, right? But she's better behaved than you because her family and her lineages have not been poisoned to think that twerking in public is normal. Okay, that having three baby daddies is okay. It's an accomplishment. All right, Esau sold y'all that dream, man. And, and now y'all looking at us like, why, why don't we just accept it? No. All right, we see we see the damage this causes now. You know, I'm going to react a little bit to this guy, Umar Johnson. All right, because he's reacting to the draft, upset, mad, you know. And, but 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 you should be angry at the, at the so-called white man. He's the root cause of all of this, man. As much as we rebuke women and we get on them and hold them accountable, ultimately, man, they're they're women at the end of the day, man. All right, they're gonna they're gonna do whatever the status quo is, whatever gets them security and comfort. Okay, and the reality is, is Esau robbed us of all of our wealth. He put us at the very bottom, and all he had to do is dangle a few carrots over here, and now it's a wrap. All right, y'all got to get a grip and understand these things, man. Okay. And, and just because these women are in a, in a position that they're in, that doesn't mean we have to deal with them, all right? All we gotta do is do the work, man, all right? If, you, if you're if a woman and you with it, fine. If if not, go find you, a, a, who, who, who cares, man, all right? It's all gonna circle back to Isaiah 4 and 1 at the end of the day anyway, okay? So live it up. Anyway, let's see what this guy got to say. I'm trying to get you Negroes to understand this ain't about no love. This ain't about no intimacy. You rich black men are allowing non-African women to invade our economy and rob us blind and take back the wealth of black America to their own people. Yeah. So he's mad because these 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 NFL players are about to get these contracts, and it's going over to these uh, to these so-called white women. But look, these white women, even if they're they're the devil, okay, they, they at least know how to behave, man. You know, a Jake is willing to part with some of his money just to have that peace of mind. This is what this guy doesn't get. He doesn't understand these things, man. All right. Not not everything is about money, okay. Some of these athletes, man, their own mother didn't help them do anything. Matter of fact, they might have discouraged them, okay? And they did it in spite of their mother, not because of their mother. But what what happened the day she get the day he gets drafted? She's right there, acting like she 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 did uh, everything she could, you know. But I want to read Ecclesiastes chapter twenty six, verse four, verse three. Um. I started verse one. Blessed is the man that hath a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be doubled. And that's what y'all don't get. Okay, a man will put half of his assets at risk if he if he sees the enough value in a woman. And it really is not a hard barrier to entry, man. All you got to do is, is, is fall in line. All right. You know, listen. You know, clean. Be enthusiastic. Um, you know, the, these things are not, these, these are not, uh, 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 very difficult things to do, but
But y'all act like it's a chore. Uh, you, your own wife nowadays will act like it's a chore just to lay down with you, man. You know? But she's entitled to half of your half of your assets. So this puts the 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 the, the mating patterns it causes those behaviors to change. All right. Nobody want nobody wants to get married in, in general, but if they are, they're gonna be with a woman that's at least pretending. Okay. But it says verse two: A virtuous woman rejoiceth her husband, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. All right. So that's what it's about. Now, what are our women known for, man? Being loud, combative, can't take criticism, all right? Now, we know this not every sister, but by and large, how did these things develop? How, how are they able to characterize you as that, man? Because y'all have never seen a camera you didn't want to cut up and act a fool in front of, man. Reality TV, they've made millions and billions off the back of y'all acting foolish, throwing drinks, fighting, you know? And, and not only that, it's one thing for those few women willing to sell out to, to look foolish on camera, but then you gotta look at the millions of women that watch this. Okay, so y'all support it through watching it and, and indulging it and making comments on social media. Okay, so now it's part of the culture now. It ain't just a few. Okay, if it was, these guys would not be literally picking up, getting passports and moving halfway across, across the world. Okay? So, so when we get in the kingdom, all of these things are going to be naturally understood among our women. We're not going to have this headache anymore. Where we're always fighting each other because it's foolish for a man to fight a woman and a woman to fight a man when the most I made us complimentary with each other to begin with. But there has to be order. And Esau is like the serpent in the garden again. Thou shalt not surely die. That that whole rhetoric. Okay. It's okay to be to, 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 to be the breadwinner in your family and lead and do all that. It doesn't work, man, okay? There has to be order, regardless of the economic status. And it says, verse 4, Whether a man be rich or poor, if he have a good heart toward the Lord Jehovah, he at all times rejoice with a cheerful countenance, okay? And so when women hear this, and they'll, they'll literally take vows, say, for rich or for poor, but you go six weeks without a job and then she's falling for divorce, man. All right. She probably had somebody already at work she was looking at. You know, he got a nice car, whatever it is. That's the society that we live in, man. So no, we're not dealing with this. Okay? This is why you're you're not being chosen. And then you when you ask that question, you have to ask, what do these women want? They a lot of them don't even want to be wise, man. They like the idea of marriage. They like the big day, the status symbol, the ring and all of that nonsense. But when it comes to actually being a wife, they don't want it. This is why they have kids before they would get married. Okay? Because their biology will drive them to want to have sex and have kids. But when they see the duty of living up to being a good mother, being a good wife, they're like, nah, uh-uh. Just let the government pay me and get whatever I can of my baby daddy and I'm going to live it up. You know, it, it, it's sickening, man. Anyway, they're literally robbing us through sex. This is highway robbery, the snow bunny crisis, the Blasian bunny crisis, the Latino bunny crisis, the Arab bunny crisis. It is highway robbery. It is highway robbery. It's not robbery if the man is willing to do it. And, and instead of you addressing the real issue, well, why aren't these men choosing our own women? You know? Why why, why aren't our women good enough? Because they feel entitled. The, the majority of our women don't even have respect. You can tell by the way they look. They don't, they don't rock their natural hair, even though they know we like natural hair. They don't want to be in shape, okay? 80% of them are either uh, 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 overweight or obese or morbidly obese, one of those three categories. 80% close to, man. All right? That says, what that's basically sending a message is saying is you got to deal with us no matter what. And no, we're not going to compete. And no, we're not going to do this, this, and that. And so the woman is telling you what, she, what, what your value is. All right? 
by and large. Now, it's not until the day you sign on that draft, then they want to get mad and howl. That's what these women on TikTok are yelling about. See, no, they didn't care about that guy before he got the NFL draft. Okay? They didn't care about him when he was uh, before he was a, 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 a top college prospect. Okay? But now, after you obtain those things, they're going to act like they was down with you and they feel entitled to, being, to having access to you. You know? This, this is a perversion. This is why this whole dating culture don't work. And it's not just our people. Esau's going through this, man. All right? And Esau, he's, he's mad that his woman is, uh, is, uh, is uh, choosing us, man. You know? <laughs> this whole thing has got to go, man. The, the, the entirety of America, from the way people die to the way people are born... It's all wicked. It's all of it, man. You know? They are coming in, sleeping without men, and walking out with the whole bag. They are coming in, sleeping without men, walking out with the whole bag. Notice, they always get a, a baby or a marriage out of the situation. They don't just... See, our women had the opportunity to do the same thing, but they didn't. You know, because there's no, there's no respect there because of their programming, all right? But that's okay. Because the Lord the Lord is going to remind them what time it is pretty soon. All right, this is going down to Sirach 26. Verse 5, there be three things that mine heart feareth. And for the fourth, I was so afraid, the slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, and a false accusation. All these are worse than death. All right? Because a woman can ruin your name, man. Ruin your reputation. That goes down a lot, man. We live in the world now. All they got to do is just say it. It gets wind on social media. Boom, you're that thing, regardless of the facts, regardless of what happened. All right? And so what's happened is women in general have just become liabilities to be around. You know? At work, it's all different now, man. You can't say certain things. You don't want to be in... You, even having one-on-one -on -one meetings, all of these things have been compromised now because of the direction that society is headed, all right? And it says, verse 6, but a, but a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman and a scourge of the tongue which is which communicate with all, man. And that's the main, a lot of women don't, they can't get past that part. You have more than one woman. They definitely won't tolerate that. They think you worked hard all your life, put all of those years of effort and sacrifice and get a bag all right and now you have to pledge half of it to her and her only and you can't have sex with nobody else you can't do are you a man or not is that your household or not and see this is what they, they they try to guilt trip you and gaslight you into thinking monogamy and romanticism is good okay it's not it's it's poison it's toxic half of these marriages are breaking up and the other half that are still married they miserable man okay and they're probably stepping out on each other anyway because they, that's not the natural order of things man you can't be a man in your household if your woman is telling you what to do if your woman can hold the threat of taking half your assets at any given moment okay she can basically hold you hostage without doing any of the uh of the work required man okay she's she's at home doing housework work that she would be doing anyway that she if she was single so what, what extra is she doing to, to, to bring in these millions of dollars that they feel so entitled to? All right? It says, verse 7, An evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that hath hold of her is as though he held a scorpion. All right? Now, this is spoken about in women way in the ancient world, man, that didn't have all of these conveniences that weren't. Uh, spoiled and entitled and addicted to attention and clout on Instagram. So if this was true back then, how much more so true as it is now, man? All right? And eventually, it's going to come to a point where, you know, all, all the, this whole dating thing, that there's a reason why you have to have game in this society because it, it, it's been boiled down to a game. Dating and marriage and procreation, those things were not games back in the day. Those were strategic means of living. Okay, I'm going to trade this for that. You didn't need game, so to speak. What is game? Game is basically a way to, to, to manipulate a woman 
by by getting enough sexual interest out of her to have her just have sex with you before you give her a bunch of commitment. That's what game is. And it's the opposite for females, is how much can I get out of a man without sleeping with him? You see? So that's game. That's 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 game theory going back and forth between male and female, and it's toxic, man. It always devolves into chaos, widespread pr promiscuity, which follows by widespread pestilence, okay? Which, which, which ultimately breeds degeneracy, which is what we see today, all right? And, and so women are completely out of order in this society because they're encouraged to do so. They're incentivized to do it, okay? Why? Because that doesn't affect the elites. They don't have to worry about their women talking loud, getting out of pocket, threatening half of their assets. They, they will literally disappear, that woman. And there will be zero investigation. <laughs> All right? Because they're that up there in society. But what these laws will do is, 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 really it was targeted for us first. We're the canary in the coal mine, so to speak. But it will destroy the households of every, every so-called middle-class working American. All right? It'll destroy that. And that's what's happening, okay? So, so the 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 modern dating scene, the the whatever highlights, whatever uh, uh, positive thoughts you had about it, you can get that out your head, man. That's that's a wrap. That's gone, okay? You should be able to see that through like dating apps. You know, people can't even talk to each other in person anymore, okay? Because they're that socially awkward. They're that subconscious about how they look in real life because on Instagram, they were able to get the 85th photo <laughs> with the right lighting, all right? You don't realize how many photos it took to get them to look like that on Instagram, but in real life, they don't have that confidence, okay? They can't talk like that in real life. They can't start, spark up a conversation, okay? So, so you have to understand like what time it is and ultimately this is part of our punishment, man. All right, that's part of the curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, man. All right, we would have trouble with our women. All right, that goes back to Genesis 3. There'd be, there would be in, enmity between men and women, man. All right, and Satan plays off of that. This is how he destroys a population. It's with the money and it's with women, okay? He gets control of the money, then he starts pushing the narrative on women, okay? Gassing up all the women in these households and before you know it, you know, everything everything is destroyed. You know, a generation or two later, everything is destroyed, man. You know? But anyway, I ain't gonna listen too much more. That guy ended here. I don't think he had Stop much more. These non-African women ain't stupid. These non-African women ain't stupid. They don't just come to play games. They come in, they coming out of that with a baby or a wedding ring. They gonna make That's wise. Why wouldn't you do that? <laughs> you know? You know, it, it's just stupid, man. As if our women aren't looking to come up. You know? Anyway, man. I'll end it there. Lord willing, this is edifying. Call halal, yeah, how about shimmy how a shy, bahashim, or hakwadash. Shalom, call me